Hello, fifth graders. This is chapter two, lesson three, and chapter two, lesson four of the Ecosystem Restoration Unit. We are combining lesson three and lesson four. For lesson three, we are going to be skipping activities one and two. For lesson four, we are going to be skipping activity two. So let's go ahead and get started. As an ecologist, you are working to figure out why the cercopia trees aren't growing and thriving. In order to figure out the answer to this question, you have been investigating where food molecules for plants come from. Let's review some basic information about plants. Our first photo is of the inside of a leaf that was taken using a microscope. The green dots are where the plant makes food matter. Our next photo is showing that plants use their leaves to collect energy from the sun. Our third photo is taken through a microscope where you can see the tiny holes on the surface of a leaf that let gases in from the air. Our photo below shows that plants may not move fast, but sometimes the roots are powerful enough to break through solid rock. And our last picture shows that roots take in water from the soil. So let's use some of that information and the information we learned from reading Energy Makes It All Go and from our simulation and answer this question. What do you think plants use their food molecules for? To answer, answer this question, you can write the answer in your chapter two, lesson three dash four activity packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you or you can think about your answer in your head. Go ahead and pause the video and answer this question now. Through our activities and our investigations, we have come to learn this key concept. Plants use water molecules, carbon dioxide, molecules from the air, and energy from the sun to make food. So let's put this key concept into action. We will work with this model of an ecosystem to show our understanding of where plants get their food molecules and how they use those molecules. You will see familiar features like some of the organisms. The empty boxes represent matter moving through the ecosystem. You can see the empty boxes right here. You'll also see two new types of matter, carbon dioxide and water. They can only be placed in the boxes with the arrows pointing to the grass. The goal is to show the amount of matter moving through the ecosystem when there are more plants. To model this, you'll use the drop-down menu to change the grass to very healthy. Then, you'll drag the matter cards into the empty boxes. You can use the drop-down menus to show how the flow of matter in the ecosystem affects the populations of the other organisms. Let's complete the model together. Or, you can continue the video and access, or access through Amplify. To access the model through Amplify, you're going to log in. Once you log in, go to the Ecosystem Restoration Unit and then click on the blue box with the three on it to access this modeling tool. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so now let's take a look at our modeling tool and get started on our simulation. Okay, so if you remember, I need to change the plants to very healthy because we wanna see what happens when there are more plants. I'm going to do a normal amount of food matter, a normal amount of carbon dioxide, and a normal amount of water, and a normal amount of food matter for zebras. And let's see what happens. All right, so if there's more plant and it's very healthy and a normal amount of food matter is going into the zebras, I think they would be normal and healthy. With the amount of food matter being normal and healthy for the zebras, that would make the cheetahs normal and healthy, which would make the amount of water normal and healthy and the amount of carbon dioxide normal and healthy. By looking at this model, I can see the flow of energy. So the water goes into the plants, so does the carbon dioxide. And then the plants have the energy go into the zebras, 
And then the zebras have food matter and the energy goes into the cheetahs. Okay, so let's go ahead and close out of this and back to our presentation. So now that we talked about how matter and energy flow through an ecosystem, let's answer this question. How do plants use carbon dioxide, water, and energy from sunlight? To answer this question, you can write the answer in your chapter two, lesson three dash four activity packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about your answer in your head. Go ahead and pause the video and answer this question now. Once you have completed the question, that is all I have for lesson three, activity three. Thank you so much.